Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode in my Tailwind CSS mini-series. Now in this video we are going to be going over some basically how to style text and obviously there are a lot of components to that and we might end up splitting this into two videos if need be. We'll check the time right now. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So for most of these properties I obviously don't memorize a ton of these. Um, so I'm just going to be looking at the docs really to um, help guide us through figuring all this out. So if we go here to index.html, um, this is where we left off. I'm going to go ahead and hit, um, or you know, I already was starting it, but I'm going to restart it. So the, hit the go live button right here, and that will open up our little server. So this is where we left off in the previous episode. Um, we have the hello blue and the hello red. And then um, we basically have these two divs where we have some text inside and we have all this sizing styling. Uh, that's not going to be super useful in this video, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove it. <clears throat> and we're left with a blank canvas. So obviously, um, I'm going to just create a, an H1, maybe, uh, and then say, uh, hello world. And then, you know, we'll have a P um, with hello, or, you know, let's go and generate some more maps in the Okay, um, mm -hmm. generate, I just need to grab this, or, you know, we'll grab the first paragraph in that. So just by saving this, we have, you know, an H1, and then we have some, a P. And notice that actually these are all the same size, and I'm, I'm not, I'm fairly sure uh, this is on purpose in Tailwind, but um, in order to give our things sizing, we need to apply the sizing. Uh, classes. So we're going to come here to the Tailwind CSS and hit the font size or search for font size. Um, and then we are just going to take a look through these docs. So there are a bunch of different text classes like text, XS, SM, base, LG. So basically the kind of pattern here is you just type text dash and then the actual size in kind of like English sizing terms like extra small, small, base means like regular and then large extra large 2xl, 3xl, and so on. So let's just go ahead and give our h1 a class of um, text extra small and see what that looks like. So look at um, that and if we obviously if we do lg for large um, we're gonna get a larger thing and if we put like 3xl it'll be pretty big. <clears throat> so that's how we can do some basic font styling um, and then let's just do like a text small for the for the paragraph itself. So we have a, a, a 3XL kind of thing here and then like a small thing here. And basically the font size is based on rem. Again, rem is this um, root font size that we see here in our kind of style. And then, so yeah, that's text sizing. Uh, for text align, we are going to um, come here and say text alignment. And obviously there's just text left, center, right, and justify. So these are our standard kind of alignments that we would see on a document. So um, let's just say we wanted to center align our H1. It's as simple as doing a text center right there. And then so that, that's basically how you do text alignments. And then um, you can change some things about the font. Uh, let's go ahead and search up specifically font family. So uh, using font family, we can do anything you normally would do. Um, although, actually, if yeah, if I'm not mistaken, these font families uh, are stuck. You can only use font sans, serif, and mono, um, and that will automatically populate it with all of these. If you do want to use your own custom font, um, then you will have to use um, you'll have to customize it in Tailwind Config. And Tailwind Config is again something only reserved for when you're using Tailwind, uh, using Node.js instead of what we've done here, like I've talked about the CDN that gives us some limitations, this is one of them. We can't actually customize the font specifically. And um, I'm, I'm actually made like make a follow-up kind of thing going into all of the uh, customizations with Tailwind in Node instead of using a CDN, which is this link here, because installing it in Node is a lot more complicated uh, for at least for this like kind of topic, which is beginner intermediate CSS. Um, so yeah. 
for now, we can just use the basic three fonts. And check this off. Um, we can use the three basic fonts, font sans, serif, and mono, and we'll see what happens when we apply. So let's just come here to our paragraph and say font sans, and then font serif, which is like Times New Roman and stuff, and then font mono, which is a mono space font, like that, like a typewriter. Um, <clears throat> I think serif is obviously preferred for like UI text usually. Um, so yeah, that's just how we customize our font. And then for font um, styling, italics, and weight, um, we can go ahead and say font style. And you know, obviously there's, there's two classes called italic and non-italic. And how they work is, let's just say we wanted to make our paragraph italic. Uh, we just add the italic class and it will automatically italicize our class. But what if we want to make um, this word right here, or this little section here, um, non-italic, then what we'll do is we'll create a span tag inside the P, and span tags are for applying styles within a subsection of text. So let's just say we only wanted to get this sentence here, so we've wrapped this span, uh, these three words, and then we can just give this a class of non-italic, and notice, um, or not italic, my bad, and notice now these three words, as covered in the span, are no longer italic. You'll have to look a little bit closer. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and upsize our text here to uh, LG, so it's larger. And notice, again, everything here is italicized, while these three words are not. And then font weight. <clears throat> is just like this, uh, thin, medium, light. Like, these are basically how kind of thick your text is. So um, if we come here, like if we wanted to have really thin text, let's just say font thin, like it said, versus font bold um, is one of a common one. Um, and then like font black would be really, um, really thick text, like a impact kind of text. Um, and then there's obviously semi bold, uh, I think is the right word. Yeah, semi bold is like somewhat bold, but not really. And then there's you know medium. So there's all of these basically to change the thickness of our text, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's again like all of this can be done um, in CSS. And don't get the kind of meaning of Tailwind wrong. Tailwind is not here to necessarily add extra things to CSS. It's here to make it much easier to write CSS. Because if I had to write this in vanilla CSS, this would take me a lot longer than adding these couple of classes to our text. So that's kind of the value that Tailwind offers. Um, and then uh, we have text styling, which is, uh, there's a couple of different properties. There's opacity, text overflow, decoration, and transform. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a opacity, or text opacity. And there's just these different values from 0 to 100 in terms of percentages. So let's just say we wanted to fade out kind of our hello world a little bit. We can say text opacity 0, or if we wanted to make it in... Um, Let me make sure I did that correctly. I think I may have misspelled something. No, I did not. Um, hmm, this is odd. Um, I'm going to try applying it to the paragraph and seeing if that does anything. Hmm. Not completely sure. Oh, the opacity of the color, if I'm not mistaken. So if we say like text blue um, 500. Yeah, okay, that's the problem. So um, yeah, my bad. This text opacity only is working when we apply a color. So let's just say apply blue 600, which is a kind of dark blue, and we say text opacity 100, that's a standard blue, but if we put 90, then it'll start to fade out a little bit. Um, 80, it'll start to fade out even more. 70, you know, obviously 50, it'll be half faded. 30, it'll be mostly faded. And then if you put like 10, it'll be almost all faded out. So that's just kind of the visibility of our text. Um, and it's by default 100, obviously, because it's fully visible. So that is text opacity, and then there's text overflow which um, shows up here. 
text overflow here. Um, there's a couple different values, truncate, ellipsis, and clip. So let's go ahead and take a look at what those are. So let's look at an example of overflow here. Like, so eloquem, or in fact, every single one of these last lines here has an overflow because uh, like after this word, this word tried to come here, but it's it would go off the screen. So instead it wrapped around to the next kind of thing. But we can actually change the behavior um, to, uh, let me make sure, text or truncate. So if I just add the truncate word here, it'll truncate everything after the first line because it will not overflow at all. Um, and that's useful for it. Like if you have a limited space on a website and you cannot afford to let the text overflow to the next kind of space, then you can make it truncate itself. And this doesn't look great, but you know, it's better than nothing really. And then overflow uh, ellipsis is going to be a um, if I can spell correctly, I think. Let's come back here. There we go. Um, and it should have overflowed, um, I believe. Oh, right. It's only for really long text. Uh, so, so basically, if, if I get like a really, really long piece of text, and to do that, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, remove the spacing in between all of these little sections, um, and then I'm just going to do that. Um, okay, so notice, again, this is all one word, and it's not quite taking up the entire screen yet, but if I make it take up the entire screen and I save, um, we will be able to use our overflow kind of things. So if we have overflow ellipsis, it should not do that. It should create an ellipsis, so let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. Let me just copy the entire class and... Paste it. Oh, right, and then overflow hidden. Okay, and if I add those two classes, notice now that this word is going beyond the kind of width of the page. Now this word is truncating itself, but the rest of the words continue going over and wrapping onto the next lines. So that's uh, basically what text overflow is. Then we have text decoration and transform, which um, we'll get to really quickly because we are running a little bit low on time. Uh, text decoration, we will have um, underline, line through, and no underline. Um, and then so basically that's just how we can apply basic um, kind of styles to our text here. So if we add an underline or a um, strike line through, we can kind of strike out our text, for example, like that. So that's pretty cool, just some extra text styles that we can add. And then um, naturally there is also text transforming. Um, and this is, uh, let's text transform. This is pretty cool because we can actually change the content of our text using CSS. For example, if we wanted to uppercase everything and made it uh, like kind of all uppercase, we can just add uppercase to our class. Um, and then we can do like capitalize, which will kind of capitalize the first word of everything. And I'll remove this line through here just so we can see it better. But yeah, every first word has a capital now after we use capitalize. So that, that's just like a cool thing that we can use to make our presentation of our text look a little bit better or a little bit more consistent. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I had to say in this video. Uh, if you want to see more videos in this series, you can check out my playlist linked in the description where I'm uploading daily. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications whenever I post new videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.